Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to go over an uh, issue I had with my Mavic Air 2. Um, I've flown this drone over the water before. I've even flown it out of a pontoon boat while we were uh, going around the lake. Never had an issue. Took right off from the boat, flew it around, came back, land, hand landed it on the boat. No issue whatsoever. Um, so I went out fishing today on my boat and I ran into a, a weird thing. I, I, I'm hoping it's just an overheat. Um, because it was so warm out, we don't get very many days like this around here. And um, the drone kind of freaked out. I think when I got it back to the boat, it was really hot. Not because of the battery, but the, the actual drone itself. I was recording in 4K HDR, so I wonder if that had something to do with it while in active track. So I was doing a lot of processing power, so it probably overheated. But I just wanted to go over it with you guys. So um, here's the video right here. All right, so here it is. I'll um, bring it in here. I wanted to bring it in. Um, and the battery is down to 40%. Uh, I didn't want to have any return to home uh, issues because the home was on the other side of the lake. And um, bringing it in, all is good. Active track, I shut active track off. Um, it, it was in sport mode still. I didn't have any beeping from obstacle avoidance at all. But then it just kind of freaked out on me. I went to bring in for a hand landing. I missed my spot because the boat was moving. I probably should have stopped the boat. But I wanted to show off. And um, then all of a sudden it just stopped taking input at all um it didn't show a co controller disconnect it just wouldn't i was moving the sticks and there was just no movement um i shut the video off just to see if there was some active track was still active somehow or whatever here it is again but um i would say it sat there about 10 15 feet above the lake for about 30 seconds before i slowly received um before i slowly got control of it back and even once I got control of it back, I didn't have any yaw, left or right yaw. I only had up and down, forward and back, and then slide left or right. I don't know which the official name for that is. but um, So I did get it back in the boat. I did hand catch it. Um, at that point, it became a uh, priority to get it in the boat. So I, I stopped fishing and got the, the drone in the boat. But still, like right there, just, just froze. I'm not sure. And then... Um, I didn't fly it again the rest of the day because I was fishing and I was too nervous to even try it. And then, so the next day I busted it out, tried to recreate the issue and didn't have any issue. As you can see, uh, checking out a local cell phone tower here, no issues whatsoever. Um, even left it out in the sun for a while to warm it up because um, I think it was a, a overheating issue because when I got in the boat and I caught it, the bottom of the drone was super hot. Um uh, not bit not from the battery per se but just i think from recording in the hdr 4k it was like 90 plus degrees outside there was a little bit of sun um it wasn't traveling very fast as i was trolling so i don't know if all those factors just made a perfect storm of where the drone overheated and it just kind of freaked out for a second or if the active track actually didn't shut off um whatever and it just kind of did that but the next day like in this i was trying active track i don't have video of it but it would it would law uh y'all left and right while in active track and i had all all the controls during the entire time in active track so i don't know exactly what was up but i'm um, just wanting to put this video out there so you guys can uh say hey this is what you did wrong or hey that's you know I'm having this issue too. Let me know in the comments. Um, we don't get very many warm days up here, so I'm not really too worried about it. But it'll probably be a while before I fly it over water again. But um, thank you guys uh, for subscribing if you're subscribed. Um, if you haven't been subscribed, please consider subscribing. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully the next lot of videos will be a lot more fun than this one was. This one was a stressful video because I didn't want to lose my drone, but um, appreciate you guys for sticking around. And uh, as always, stay adventurous.